Hi everyone, my name is Sara, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about my masks. Um, I'm definitely a mask girl, I love uh, doing masks on my face. And I've done this video a year ago on my Turkish channel where I commented uh, on my masks. And I thought I can do it again, and I thought I can do it again in Turkish. Um, and I'll be talking about four masks four masks that I'm using currently once a week mostly yes uh, I will go with a chronolog chronological order I'll start with the one that I've been using for the longest time and end with the one that I've been using for the shortest time <laughs> um, I'll first with, start with this DCL Dermatology Cosmetic Laboratories Clay Mint Mask this I've been using for two or three years now it's a it's an amazing mask for especially acne prone and scarred skin. I keep it on for 40 minutes to an hour and then wash it off. It's really easy to use. And you can just put it on, get on with your day, do like cooking, studying. I will like edit my videos or put on nail polish, read a book. That's what I love about masks as well. That's, uh, you just put it on, get on with your day, and just, you just take it off, and you have the perfect skin <laughs> for at least a day. <laughs> um, this is really easy to use, as I said. And what I would say is, this is expensive, this is not cheap, but I think it will be cheaper in the States probably because it's a United States product, but it's, it wasn't cheap in Turkey. I don't know the exact price for dollar or pound. Um, is that a blue? Oh my god, there's a blue jay! Oh, it's so beautiful! You shall see its wings. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. I love Switzerland. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let me get out. Um, I'm such a city girl, aren't I? Because I've never seen a blue jay in Istanbul. Um, yeah, this is a really good mask. What I would suggest is to, well, when you are taking it off, don't just uh, throw water to your face. Just wet your hands a bit and then try to take it off slowly, just like embed it in your skin and then take it off and then clean your face. That's how I would suggest you to take it off. Um, this is a great mask for exfoliating, scrubbing, taking out of all the dark from your face, for acne, for scars, all perfect. Next is the Acne Gun Refining Mask. Acne Gun is a really good brand because they're really cheap compared to other brands that I'll be talking about and they're really effective, especially if you want to dry out your face a bit, if you have an oily on combination skin like me, it's really, really good. And it's also like a refining mask, it's also for acne, it's also for um, scars. Uh, these, All these like, out of the four masks, three of them were suggested to be by my dermatologist, so I can easily say that this is a good mask. Um, I have it in two bottles. This was the first one that I got from a pharmacy and I got this on the internet. Um, I wouldn't suggest you to get this bottle because this is harder to use, but this is more practical to use. I would suggest you to get this one. And this will be a dupe for the first DCL one because they practically do the same. I would prefer this, but they practically do the same and this is cheaper, definitely. And for the third mask, I'll be talking about Osmo Clean uh, by Estadime. Estadime is a brand of Bioderma, under Bioderma, uh, but it's a more pricey brand of Bioderma. This is a basic a whitening mask. If you have scars like I do, it helps to whiten those, all those brown scars especially, and I have a lot of them. I wish I've done this video also without makeup, just like I did with my face routine, uh, skincare routine. Uh, but anyways, just to show you guys, but if you watched it, or if you didn't watch it, go and watch it, and uh, you can see that my like face has a lot of scars. Um, it's really good for scars. And you, this is an expensive one, so you can get one from Geodarma, they also have a whitening mask. It will be cheaper than this one, definitely. And it will probably serve the same purpose. I'm sure this is better because this is what my doctor gave me, but still they would serve the same purpose. Uh, but when it comes to whitening masks, I know that 
most of them are expensive and not like drugstore products have a lot of whitening masks because it's a really hard thing to do. Um, so you would have to pay a lot anyways. Um, and this is really interesting because this is not like you put it on just like acne gun or DCL. For acne gun as well, I would leave it as an, for an hour and then wash it. For this one, I will leave it for an hour as well and I will just wet my hands and then scrub it off. You don't wash it off. You have to like scrub it. You have to see the mask like coming off in particles. It's really interesting. When it's dry, it also like, it starts with dust and you can see like around with their white dust because it's like coming off. It's a really interesting mask. I'm sure like all white masks maybe are like that. It, this was my first one, so I, I was, it was surprising for me. Um, yeah, this is an interesting one. And if you don't want to leave it on for an hour, if you don't have time, you have to be quick, etc. I think 20 minutes, 15 minutes are mostly enough because the way you decide for how long you keep it on is if it's dry. It's done. I mean, you don't have to keep it on longer than that, but it has to be fully dry on your face. It does. It shouldn't have any uh, wet spots uh, left. That should be like the limit, uh, at least. But I would like to keep it on more because my doctor always said like, if you keep it on, it helps. So I would leave it on like 40 minutes an hour because I would always like after I put it on, I would do other stuff and I would generally forget that I have it on. And here with my roommate, especially how guy roommate, and he would go like. What's, what's in my face? Um, I'm like, yeah, face mask. I just like totally forgot. I'm like cooking, I'm doing something else, cleaning, I don't know. And he will be shocked. But I think for girls, it's like, it's normal. You put on face masks, my face masks, and I love face masks. Um, the last one that I'll be talking about is a Lush mask. This is a rosy cheeks mask. I got this from Zurich because we don't have a Lush in Turkey, unfortunately. But from me to you, Lush, please come back to Turkey. We had you before, you left us. Please come back, please. Like, I love Lush. Um, this is more of a refreshing mask. Refreshing mask, I don't know. But it also like helps for the color coordination. I When I went to Lush, my face was okay. So it was like, I want a mask, face mask, because I love their face masks, because they're like very natural. They're a vegan brand, I love their purpose. I love their stores, I love the smell. <laughs> um, and my face was doing okay, I just wanted something for my color. Because my face, like, the color of my face would always like red here, dark here, white here, like it will change. It doesn't have a balance. And I, I don't like putting foundation on anymore. I actually hate it. Like, I don't have a fine foundation on anymore. I don't know if you can tell. Um, I just have some concealer, a powder, like bronzer, etc. But I hate, I hate the way it feels on my skin. And I just wanted a mask that will help my color that I won't need to put a foundation every day to look like a normal color. And the salesperson suggested me this and I got this and this is a good mask, I would say. It really smooths your skin. I love the feeling of it. It smells really good. And yeah, it's like this. Yes, these are the masks that I've been using for a really long time, except for the rosy cheeks. Um, I've been through like a couple of bottles already. Um, I think using masks um, for a long time and like in an order, like every day in a monotone order, is really really important for your skin. Masks are really good. I would really suggest. I mean, if you're a lazy girl when it comes to your skin. Masks are not that hard, you can just have one like once a week when you're taking a bath or just like watching Netflix, just put it on and then take it off before you go to bath. Like, I would suggest you to, even if you're not doing anything else for your skin, do masks. Like, get a cheap one, exfoliating one, if you have pores for pores, I don't know, but get something for your skin. <laughs> I love masks, I'm a mask girl, definitely. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask them from the comment section. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel from right here. Don't forget to follow me on my social media and see you in my next one. Bye!